Hi, it's Lynn Liaz, and I have Ronnie McMullen with GetTheTea.com with me tonight. Hello, Ronnie. How are you? I'm doing great. I was sick for over a month and finally got over it a few weeks ago, so I'm feeling much, much better. Good. (laughs) So, well, (laughs) you know what? I stopped drinking the tea for Ooh, a few weeks. Yeah, see, for a few weeks. That's why so, I was quiet. Yeah, so then I was... How can, uh, you, how can you be sick? Well, I was pumping myself full of the tea, and then, like, but I don't But know. it was too late. You were singing that song, It's Too Late. Yeah, It's Too Late, Baby. How yeah, do you sing right, that? there you it's go. It's too late, baby, yeah, it's too late. Can we kill it? Yep, Did anybody yep. die? Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, Ronnie, there's a lot that has been going on since we last talked. Uh, you hear about this terrorist attack in London the other day? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The, the new thing is let's let's get a crowd of people and drive a van and try to hit people. That's the new terrorist attack, uh, and, it, and it's happening everywhere. It's crazy. Yeah, the same thing happened in Columbus, uh, something yep. similar, Columbus, Ohio, over at Ohio State University only a few hours away from me um, just recently. So I think they're testing the waters and I think it's going to get worse. I hope it doesn't, but you're probably right. Um, you know, and I, I think it's connected to MK Ultra. I really do. I don't think it's just, you know, because it's not random. They make it sound like, oh, just this random person. Dr-. I don't think so. I think they're triggered to do things and, and it's all about, you know, it, a continuance of lawlessness. Well, I also think that there are sleeper cells and many of them in this nation. And like I said, Mm -hmm. they're testing the waters. And when they get that call, hey, time to wake up and go to town, I think they're all going to go off at once and it's going to be crazy. That's my personal opinion. Yeah, it, it, it's all about embedding fear into the public, the general public, you know, because pretty soon people are not going to want to go to the mall. They're not going to want to go any place public where there's a lot of people, you know. Um, so uh, as long as they can embed fear, they literally can lock down people because people will never leave their house. Well, do you think if we give the terrorists some get the tea that <laughs> that it might clean, clean. clean them out? <laughs> How about we give... Their- Give them an overdose. Toxic ways. Give them an overdose. Uh, Maybe they'll be on the toilet too long to to do any damage. <laughs> yeah, you know what's funny is is there are some people that are are joke jokers and they do the tea and they they get their benefits, but then they save the tea bags, and then if they make brownies, they put the tea bags, you know, the loose tea in the brownies. You'll never taste it, and then it gives you kind of a laxative effect. <laughs> you know, so. I have not had that, and I drink <laughs> I drink like three. Three cups, sometimes four a day, and I haven't had that. Well, yeah, but if you drink it all the time, then you go back to totally normal because your body's clean of the toxins, so you're good. I didn't but even get it. I didn't first... even get it when I first started it. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Well, you need a clap offering. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, there is a definition for clap, and I don't know that I want yeah. a clap offering. <laughs> if you're talking about this kind of clapping. Then I'm off. Yeah, it. that's kind of what I was. That's where. I was going <laughs> but, so, but yeah. Well, the dog. I think the dog's in on what we're talking about too back there. I, the dogs are very excited. Yes, they're excited about the tea. <laughs> are you feeding them the tea as well? Uh, you know, I actually don't. Remedies? There, we we used to have a, a pastor that bought from us for for the dog only. I never quite understood that, but anyway. <laughs> really? And uh, anyway, they, they bought it for the dog, and I would not want to give the tea to my dogs, not because you know it'd be, it probably would do good things, but it would also loosen their bowel movements, and that's not something I want with a dog. What about some colostrum? You know, maybe some of that might help them. I give my dog colostrum every day, and that's oh, you a fact. can really give you can give that to pets. Yes. Oh, oh absolutely. Wow. It's great. It's, it's great for their immune system. So their hair and all their skin and little bumps and all the stuff. And, you know, because you got to remember, we're being toxified by the air and by the water. And so is our animals. And uh, so, yeah, I give um, I give my dog aloe and I give my dog colostrum and uh, I even give my dog CBD, which has been a beautiful thing. Hmm. Yeah, I see. He's back there in agreement. He or she. Is it a she or he? 
Uh, I've got one of each. I've got a little Sharpay hound dog, and that's a she. And then I've got uh, my white boxer, and that's a he. Well, that's good for the listeners to know if they want to get colostrum, that they can uh, give it to their pets, you know, do good things for them. Oh, yeah. Oh, it does wonderful things for your pets. Um, Absolutely wonderful things for your pets. Hey, quick question for you. What have you heard about this whole Trump ordeal, the attacks that he's been getting and so forth? Have you heard anything new? Oh, I wouldn't say new. It's just the ongoing. They're just, you know, thumping on him. And what's really funny is if you listen to the backlash, um, the Clintons, have you noticed them going under the table? It's like all of a sudden, no Hillary is hanging around. She's not even flapping her jaws, which that's kind of a gift. But she just kind of quiet. And then, of course, Obama's in the background and he's doing he's organizing people to do their thing to come against Trump. And I'm thinking, what a poor loser, you know, and and actually poor loser. And he is a loser because he's done with his presidency. He's messy. He's the worst president it's ever been. And he spent eight years fouling up our our. Obamacare, which I hate that word, but the healthcare system, he has totally fouled that up. Doctors have quit. Very good doctors have quit. And he is he has put some of the most incredible executive orders together to criminalize everything and build up the the FDA, build up the the I I I, 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 I just get upset. I, you can tell I can hardly speak. So yeah, you I I, 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 I. Is, <laughs> he's just beat he's just beaten Trump to a pulp. And he doesn't even want to put his chest out there to say he's doing it. So it's just crazy. I, I've never seen such a circus in politics in my life. Yeah, that's that's insane. You know, just the amount of stuff. I just got tired of reading it all. There's just always some new attack on Trump that you read about in the news. And uh, like you said, Hillary, Bill, Obama, you know, they're kind of on the sidelines now. It makes you kind of wonder if they're planning something. It wouldn't surprise me. Well, I heard Bill Clinton is close to death. Now, whether that's rumor or not, I don't know, but I've heard quite a few. Well, heck, if you different... were, if you were married to Hillary, wouldn't you be? <laughs> that happens. Yeah, but I don't think he's playing Russian roulette. I think he's actually sick. I think he's got cancer. He's down to like 112 pounds. So he's, wow. that's the rumor. So, you know, maybe Hillary, I don't know, you know, I, I don't want to wish anything bad upon them, but no. on the same token... You know, what goes around, you know, it does come back on you. So, um, you know, I, I just I think we're in trouble still. We're not out of the woods. I think Trump's trying, um, but he's got some lunatics that are surrounded him. And we have this this new uh, health care bill and it's not much better than Obamacare. Um, it's it's you know, I, I call it Obamacare on, on steroids. I mean, it's just you know, the monies haven't changed, you know, and and I don't think this is just my opinion. Trump's in a real pickle right now because I don't think he likes this new health care bill. And yet he doesn't want to come against everybody. It's rallying, trying to make this work and do, do a better bill. Uh, Paul Ryan is, you know, in my opinion, a liar and he's definitely part of the establishment. Um, but I just, I think, we're not out of the woods. We are not out of the woods. And the economy is holding together by gum. You know, I mean, we, it's, it's a crazy time right now. And, and, uh, and of course, then the sprain has been so heavy. The uh, chemtrails, the geoengineering, climate change, blah, 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 whatever name you want to use. They're just killing us with the sprays. People have been sick and with viruses for months. And it's, it's literally coast to coast. It's New York to California. And, Supposedly, you know, if you cough or you handshake somebody with, a, you know, with germs, you can get sick. Well, how come California and New York are sick at the exact same time? Uh, it doesn't travel that fast. So we've been sprayed on and, and, uh, and nobody's doing anything about that because, I mean, Trump's got so many monsters to slay. It's not even funny. Well, we've got about 10 or I don't know, 10 or 12 minutes left. And I wanted you to go ahead and talk to the listeners about the tea because it's very important, and I have a lot of people write me asking for prayer, telling me they're sick or they know someone that is sick, and I respond to many of them, you know, that I can about Get the Tea, and I tell them to go to your website. So why don't you tell the listeners about the tea? Well, first of all, the tea is probably our number one selling seller, 
And there's a reason why, because what it does is it cleanses you, uh, detoxifies you, and gets rid of garbage that shouldn't be in your body because we have intruders, which are from our GMOs and our herbicides and pesticides and so much garbage that's going on. And so this takes the stuff out, you know, even heavy metals and all kinds of stuff, fluoride, you know, so on and so forth. So that's getting your body and it's a mild cleanse. It's not like, you know, oh my gosh, you know, you're in trouble. It's something that you know, I drink it every day, have been for over 10 years. And this is something that keeps you ticking. It's good. So, um, but we did get a new product in, which I'm kind of very excited about. It's called Boku, B-O-K-U, Boku, Original Super Protein. And what it is, is it's for you guys out there that want to make smoothies. Uh, this stuff is good. 18 grams of protein per serving. It is vegan. It is uh, GMO-free. It is organic. Uh, it is the best. It's all plant-based. And uh, there is no garbage in it, um, which is kind of nice. And, um, you know, it doesn't have the antibiotics in it, the allergens, or, you know, the hormones and all this kind of stuff. So it's really, really good for you. And of course, certified uh, organic and uh, non-GMO. And this is, a, to me, is really good. It's a really good powder. It's sprouted brown rice, red dulse, and cranberry seed. And uh, it'll do you really good. So we just started carrying that. Very excited about that. For and that's for your uh, your shakes that you want to make, and then your smoothies, what have you. And uh, also, we also have a special, which I I think is phenomenal, because I get a lot of people asking me, saying, you know, what are the, you know, if you had to, you know, cut it down. You know, you carry a lot of products, but if you had to cut it down, and you say you pick three, what would you pick? And so I said, you know, well, the first thing would be the tea, obviously. Second thing would be colostrum for your tummy because all sickness starts in the gut. So you want to rebuild your gut flora. You want to, you want to do better in your stomach. And when you do better in your stomach, which obviously get rid of the fear and the worry, but that's the emotional part. But you want to basically get, you know, your stomach taken care of. Well, colostrum will help repair your stomach. So that's really a good thing. And then the third thing is the Allison Advance, which is um, equal to about 34 to 40 cloves of garlic, one pill. It's the healing part of the of the garlic. And what it does, I mean, I, I literally tell people, take a challenge. Go get your blood work done. Have a doctor and say, hey, you know, I want to get my blood work done. And see what your triglycerides are, your cholesterol. You know, get your blood pressure taken. And then take the Allison Advance for, say, 60 days. You know, that's really what we sell, 60-day supply. So take it 60 days and then go back and have your blood work done and see what happens to your triglycerides, your cholesterol, and go get your blood pressure taken again. And if you're having issues, we'll just say it that way, if you're having issues, you might have less issues. And so um, those three are on special and you save money when you buy the three. We call it the big three. That's awesome. So for those of you listening, go to getthetea.com. Be sure and mention that you heard about uh, the products on the Lynn Liaz show. That way Ronnie knows because that helps to support me and what I'm doing. And uh, so be sure and do that. And his products are great. I use quite a few of them myself. And at the beginning of the show, I mentioned how I had been sick. And, you know, maybe it's coincidence. I don't think so. But you know, I hadn't been sick for a while, and all of a sudden I stopped drinking the tea and get sick and everything like that. So be sure and check out Ronnie at getthetea.com. Ronnie, do you have any final thoughts? Final thoughts um, would be, you know, obviously keep prayer going. Keep on the positive side of things. I mean, because when we look at the news all the time, it can be a little scary and a little weird. But, uh, you know... It, I don't think God's throne moves with all these weirdos running the countries. So, you know, just stay happy and, and, and be happy and you're going to do a lot better. Amen to that. Well, thank you so much, Ronnie. And I'm looking forward to having you on again. And again, that is getthetea.com. Go check it out. Thanks, Ronnie. Thank you, Lynn.